Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So excited for today's video. I'm finally digging into the Sonia G Sky face set with these stunningly beautiful blue fancy pants handles, beautifully shaped brushes. I cannot wait, we're gonna talk about the products. We're gonna use them a couple of different ways. We'll compare, we'll contrast, we'll talk, we'll have fun. So, if you want to see all that go down, and if you want to see what this thing is on my head, just keep watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, because I so appreciate it when you do. Now, let's jump in. So, as always, I'm Bree, and I'm the co-owner, along with my husband, of Breezy Tea. And today's Breezy Tea product of the day is our super functional, super wonderful blue t-shirt hair towel wrap, The Hood. Okay, today is my wash day. I just washed my hair. You can see a little bit of the extra drippage from my hair. So this is truly my wash day and I wanted to dig into these brushes and I, I chose our blue hood today to honor Sonia's new blue handles and it just works. So why do I love our t-shirt hair towel wraps? This was, the full one was our first product. We started with just t-shirt hair towel wraps. Uh, T-shirt material, jersey material, is healthier for the hair. Uh, it fights frizz. And it um, protects our hair from breakage and split ends. So it's so wonderful. Terry cloth does so much damage to the hair. Something as simple as the friction that terry cloth causes as you're drying your hair is enough to split ends, is enough for breakage, and it does not help. It causes frizz for sure. So I wanted to create a towel that would combat all those, those things. And instead of using an old t-shirt, I wanted to kick it up a notch. So I started with our full towels and then we started making our hooded towels. They are eco-friendly cotton and we use coconut shell buttons on the back of the hoods. There's a coconut shell button that you use elastic with. And we chose coconut because plastic it's just no good. So the coconut shell is just a really nice touch for our hoods and they're easy. They come in so many colors. We even have a video uh, how to use them. So definitely, definitely, definitely visit us at breezytea.com and you can see our full range of hooded t-shirt hair towel wraps. So Sonya's inspiration for the sky face set and the sky eye set that is to come this year is the sky space stars she said she's fascinated with those things so that was her inspiration and why we got blue and i don't know if it's translating but there's a beautiful specks and sparkles in the handle when light hits it it's really stunning and it's a departure from her red handles that she is known for which i'll show a bit later when i compare brushes so that was her inspiration for this brand. I love the change in the handles. Blue's my favorite color, so it was a it was a beautiful surprise to me. And they're just it's just nice to have so quality. I just love the look of her brushes. And one of the things I always look forward to as well are uh, is the different shapes of her brushes. Sonia always wants to create shapes that are not on the market, so they're just beautifully shaped brushes beautifully made. If you're not familiar with Sonia G, her brushes are handmade in Kumano, Japan. And they are luxury brushes, but they are absolutely my favorite brushes. They get me in and out. So I have the Pro Face Set as well. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in order that I would with my Pro Face Set and use the brushes that I think will do the same job as the Pro Face Set. And so I'm starting with the Soft Cheek Brush and I'm gonna use this to put some setting powder where I concealed, okay? And normally I would use my Inoshige Pro Brush, okay, from the Pro Set. You can see them together. This is the Soft Cheek Brush. They are together. So we're replacing this one and I'm gonna start with this one and just set underneath my eyes. So let's read a little bit about what Sonia says about this soft cheek brush. If you want the most thorough descriptions of a brush or a beauty product in general, it's Sonia. She puts so much into her descriptions and I'm not going to read all of it. I'm just gonna read a little bit and you can go read the full descriptions from her. The soft cheek brush is a, doom a doomed, it's not a doomed, 
not doomed. It's a domed. It's a domed brush that delivers sheer to medium coverage. Due to its versatile size and density, it can be a blush brush, bronzer, sculpting, setting, finishing. You can literally use this brush with so many things and it can jump from one job to the other in such a brilliant, easy way. Now, she typically suggests that you wash your brushes and when they bloom, that was what she had in mind for the brush, but I'm gonna use it now unwashed. They've already been pre-washed, I believe. I'm pretty sure they were pre-washed. I'm going to use mine unwashed, but what I'm going to do is in my blog, I will have pictures, breeziesblog.com. Um, on my blog, I will have pictures of them washed and unwashed so you can see the difference, okay? So I'm going to use my, what am I using today? Pat McGrath setting powder, and I'm just going to set underneath my eyes with this soft cheek brush. Uh, I'm serious. If you've never felt a Sonia G brush on your face, you're missing out. You are so missing out. This is the softest stuff. And here's the thing. I say she gets me in and out, and I said this in my last Sonia G video. She really does get me in and out, but the problem is it feels so good that you just want to keep swiping it up. So it's definitely, it's picking up a nice amount of product. Not too much, because you know, too much powder is tragic. And it sweeps it away nicely. Okay. I'm really simple when it comes to setting powder. I mean, I, I put it where I would here, side of the nose, and it's, it's golden. But I can already tell, this is a brush that I would happily use for blush and other things. That's another thing I love. So many of her brushes are just so versatile. So I'm using this because I think it's the closest to the one I would use from the Pro Set. You know she gay? Brush, and that's why I'm using it. And on my chin. And we are done. And I am set, fabulously, underneath my eyes. Super soft, super simple, not as targeted as the brush from the Pro Set, but still gets the job done quickly, easily, picks up a nice amount of product. And again, I'm certainly gonna be using this for other things. But y'all, we don't have five hours for me to just try each brush the 10 different ways. So we're choosing one way today. And this soft cheek brush is made of Saiko, goat, white, and brown hairs, okay? So next up, we have the Master Face, another beauty. Look how beautiful, beautifully full this is. This is dense, but it's full, and this is before it's washed. I can't wait to see how it splays out. So this one I'm going to use for bronzing, contouring action, okay? That's what I'm gonna use it for, and from the Pro Face set, I would use this one, the Face Pro, so you can see them together. This is what I use to bronze contour, and we're gonna use this one today. So the Master Face Brush is a powder foundation brush, a buffer, a blender, but it can also be a bronzer, a blush brush, depending on the pigmentation of the products or the precision you require. It's big and dense brush is shaped like a ball, and the high density uh, gives the brush lots of strength to pick up powder products to blend and buff. Okay, this was a brush that when I first saw the, uh, the first pictures of the full set, I, was, I, I couldn't figure out what I would use, use it for. I do not wear powder foundation, not interested, no. So um, I was just like, am I gonna get use out of this? What am I gonna do with this brush? What am I gonna do with this brush? Because, you know, a brush set, a handmade brush set is an investment, so you want to get the most use out of every brush. Oh, and before I forget, Sonia sold out pretty quickly as her sets and brushes tend to, and this will not be rest restocked until next year, okay? And if it, everything goes well, they'll be sold as singles, which I think is always the case, and they always do so well, they are eventually sold as singles, so if you don't want the full set, Hopefully at some point next year, the singles will be out, but the set will definitely be coming out back in stock. We'll be back in stock next year. So this one is also made of Saikoho goat bristles, brown and white bristles. 
and I'm using Bobbi Brown's deep bronzer as my contour bronzer situation and it's picking up product easily and nicely so let's go let's see beautiful oh it feel, guys I'm finished with this cheek it just feels too good it just feels so good <laughs> my goodness we are bronze again so done I was done 20 seconds ago I can't stop guys uh-uh uh-uh can't stop, won't stop. Your girl is bronze. And this is a beautiful brush. So I'll definitely be using it to bronze. And then I'll try some of the other things. I'll try blush and see how I feel. Because foundation, powder foundation is out, I thought I just wouldn't get as much use out of it. But there are other things I can do with it and I'm gonna play around with. And they're always fun to play around with and see how you can fit them into your routine. So, but for now, I'm loving it as a bronzer, super duper efficient, gets it right, right where I want it to go, okay? But blends out really nicely, no clumping, no, no nothing. Everything looks super even. Next up is the mini cheek. Here we go. Beautiful. This is, we're probably going to use this twice today. This brush is what I'm using for my Detail Pro from the Pro Set, so here you go, Detail Pro, Mini Cheek. And the Detail Pro is my workhorse. I love that little brush, I use it for many things. And so that's what I have in mind for this Mini Cheek, but I'm starting now with the contouring of the nose. Just want a little more, I need a little more precision here, so I went with the smaller brush, and I'm going to contour the nose, but first let's read a little bit about this Mini Cheek brush. The mini cheek is such a precious tool when you're looking for a targeted application, but you don't necessarily want heavy results at the very first swipe. It's been bundled with a curved ferrule. This ferrule will open up the bristles and give it a more fluffy, airy shape. This ideal small fluffy shape and medium density make it extremely easy to build up any application, even to, even to very intense results without leaving a harsh perimeter. So we love that. I'm thinking of using this maybe for very targeted highlighter in a bit. But for now, let's get this on my nose, okay? So soft, so nice, so nice. Just a little bit, boom. When you're in the middle of your video and you realize, hey, I didn't even attempt to do these brows. <laughs> eh, what can you do? It's wash day, guys. It's wash day. I'm finding with these brushes, what I reach for a lot and, and you know, more than others, I really reach for these little things because they're just little areas you just want to hit with something and so these brushes are perfect for it. So we're going to revisit this mini cheek in a little bit. And I don't want to forget to mention it later, it too is made of brown and white Saikoho goat bristles. So next we're going to start with the classic cheek brush, a beauty. Here she is fluffy, beautiful cheek brush. And then here is the Cheek Pro for comparison. Okay, Cheek Pro, Sky Set Classic Cheek. So now let's see what Sonia has to say about this classic cheek brush. It's the most versatile and universal blush brush I could envision. Due to its size, density, and shape, this brush is also appropriate for bronzer, contour, or highlight application. It offers scalable precision and intensity depending on how you hold it or the pressure you use. Certainly, I would use this for a highlighter, for sure, because I like to just, especially like a cream highlighter. So I'm gonna use my blush from the Dior Backstage Face Palette, the first one. I'm using this one because it's not the easiest blush in the world to get pigmentation from. So I really wanna see how the Classic Cheek does with this color. So let's try this out. Immediate color. A lot. Holy. That's very pretty. It's, it's a pink, it's a pink, um, blush. 
I'm just going overboard for the purpose of this video because I'm impressed with the color payoff in two seconds. Yeah, this is not, this needs a, for me, this blush needs a very specific kind of blush brush. And the one that worked before that I really love is from the Sonia G. And I, this is the first, this is the most I've gotten out of this blush this easily with just a couple of dips into the pan. Okay, classic cheek. Loving the classic cheek. This is very pretty. And again, certainly will be using this for highlighter. Absolutely. I love me a versatile brush. And I don't want to forget, this brush is made of white Saikoho gold bristles. So let's dig into this worker fan the worker fan is the fan that can do any task you want hence worker in the name it's the perfect size and density to handle blush bronzer sculpting and even highlight it's actually a smaller version of the current sculpt one i am obsessed with the sculpt one's body and capabilities the size of the worker fan is more versatile if you want to use it for even more tasks and uh, for comparison this is the fan pro and here we have the worker fan. So, you know, fan brushes, split opinion. Some people love fan brushes, some people not so much. I really enjoy Sonia's fan brushes and this is the thickest one I have. Um, I don't have any of her really big fan brushes, so I'm, I'm curious to see how this handles. I, it, it, it's curious to me as I suppose a highlighter. It just feels like it would be too big, but I'm intrigued. And I might very well be trying highlighter with this brush after we get this blush on. And this blush is made out of white Hakutotsuho Gold. And I love languages. I love languages. Some, some get a little trickier than other. So white Hakutotsuho Gold. There we go. I'm confident I got it that time. So that is what we're working with with this blush brush this brush and now let's get on the blush so i'm using my nars liquid blush and a little bit goes a long way and i think i dabbed a little bit too much on already but let's see let's see what see i i can't quite figure out how i would that's what's throwing me off as a blush brush how do i sweep this up it's going though it's going and it's blending it out beautifully. So I've learned on camera. A nice little sort of semi-circular motion is working for me. With, and then use it just the regular way I would use a fan brush to bring the blush up the cheek. Ooh. We'll see. I love learning my favorite thing in the world to do is to learn so that was a new way to I, I like I said I've never used a fan brush to apply blush because in my head it just couldn't make it make sense but um it's working and it's highly effective and I'm liking how it took this extremely pigmented NARS liquid blush and toned it down and picked it up and it it would it I see you know it gets more of my cheek, which makes sense. It's a larger surface area. I, I can blend out more of my cheek in a shorter amount of time. So this is, I know, I, am I a believer? Am I a convert of the fan brush for the blush? Perhaps this is less time, except when you like how it feels. So you continue to overblend, and you pick up an accent along the way. Oh, this is lovely. Really, really, yes. Sonia, you made me a believer in a fan brush for my blush. Yes. Oh, wow. And I thought, I, I really, I've used one dot and it's made my cheeks look crazy. But these, this blended out those four dots really beautifully. And still, I don't look like Baby Jane. I don't feel like I have on too much blush, which is one of my fears in life. Love this. Yes to the worker fan. And look. A cloth brush got most of the color right on out in a couple of seconds love that so I'm going to use a loose a loose 
highlighter, this Fenty Beauty highlighter sparingly because I don't know what we're working with here. I know how pigmented this is, so I just want to make sure I don't get crazy. Okay, so I'm going to use the worker fan again because listen, listen, holy ishka bibbles. Well, we've got, we've got, if we want to, you know what I want to see now. Okay, so that's too much, way too much for me. But now I want to see how I'm going to flip it to the other side. If we can get a grip on this, if this will tone this down and it is beautifully because that is, that's so nice to know. Highlighter is too late, you know, in your routine to mess up and then have to go back and correct something because of highlighter, especially a cream powder, uh, a highlighter. Okay. You have a little bit more control, but a loose powder is tricky. So this is beautiful to know that not only will it highlight if I apply too much, I can just work that out really quickly and tone it, uh, sweep it away and tone it down and make it much more wearable for me. Worker fan is working it out. The worker fan is working it out. It's working out problems in real time. This is the bomb. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Love that, loving it. So we've got the worker fan, gave the beautiful liquid blush color, and then we just went in with a loose highlighter powder and it's beautiful. Yes, this brush may be more than anyone I was not scared of, but a little intimidated by because it's so, you know, big. I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I already found two uses for it. So now we have the classic cheek again, which I said I would be using for highlighter. I'm going to use a cream highlighter now, and I'm going to be using my Manasi 7 Roseate bronze lighter okay so this is a this is a really beautiful highlighter from manasi 7 super subtle but very very pretty and this brush is doing this is what i said this is the motion that makes it so easy for me to just blend out cream highlighters so i'll use the same brush for my chin get a little highlight there so i thought i would use the mini cheek for a pop of color or with the highlighter, but I don't think I need it. I'm gonna use this one just to go down my nose with a little bit of highlight. Pick it up, nothing. Can see the highlight, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Would I use this here too? Maybe, to get my cupid's bow. I'm trying to get just the top of the brush for my cupid's bow so that it's not, you know, all over the place. Sonia, Sonia, Sonia. She continues to just push the limits for brushes and she's innovative and creative with the design, the shapes of the brushes, the handles of the brushes. Cannot see and not say enough. It really is, has been the best investment just in terms of saving me time. And never in my wildest dreams would I ever think I would be so excited about makeup brushes, but her enthusiasm is contagious. Her brushes excite me, like they're fun to talk about, they're fun to use, they feel good. I love recommending them to people. I just think they're fantastic and they do not, they have not steered me wrong yet. I cannot wait, cannot wait for the sky eye set and what she has coming in the future because the sky's the limit, no pun intended. So I cannot say enough about this sky face set. I am loving every brush and I found a use or multiple uses for each brush. And I guess my biggest surprise is probably the worker fan because of the size of it. I was just unsure what I would do with it and how it would perform. This performed like a champ. The both, both ways I tried it today. I just love them all. The Cheek Pro was perfect. I love a little mini cheek brush, which I know I'll be using for different things. So just really, really happy with 
this face uh, uh, this face set, the sky face set, and um, I can't wait for more. And again, visit me at breeziesblog.com where I'm going to have pictures of these uh, in comparison to the pro set, I'm gonna have them washed and unwashed. So that's it for me guys. I really hope you had as much fun with this video as I did. I really like these laid back videos, hanging out in the living room, chilling. I don't have a specific makeup product that I have to talk about. See, I love I love reviewing brushes, just seeing what they do, Sonya G brushes, seeing what they do. And um, yeah, it's a more chilled video and I like it. So. If you got this far and you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I so appreciate it and I'm having so much fun speaking with my subscribers, seeing what products they're into. They're giving me recommendations. I love the little community that I'm building, so feel free to subscribe. If you wanna check out any of our t-shirt, hair towel wraps, the hood, our full towels, our satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, it's getting cold our boho headbands and head wraps, satin head scarves and more, just visit us at breezyt.com. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.